federal and state leaders are talking about the suspicious packages sent to prominent Democrats, CNN, and critics of President Trump. KTK's Mike Miller joins us live in the studio with what elected officials from Texas are saying. Mike? As U.S. Senator Ted Cruz and his opponent, Congressman Beto O'Rourke, stump around the state, the two of them are talking a lot about these bombs being sent around the country. When Congressman O'Rourke stopped in Tyler today, he took time to thank law enforcement for preventing these bombs from arriving to their final locations and also for working around the clock to track down the person who sent these packages. I want to make sure that we're good to one another, um, regardless of our differences. Uh, it, it's up to each of us to be civil, um, to where we can find the common ground, the consensus, the compromise, because the alternative is not good. We U.S. Senator Ted Cruz also weighing in on the bomb situation, saying violence is wrong wherever it falls in the political spectrum. Now, we also talked with our Congressman Louis Gohmert and State Rep Matt Schaefer about this package situation. I want to be on record as uh, denouncing bombs and bomb threats in domestic situations, but then I'm also interested to see where this goes, who's helped by bombs being sent that they had to know would be caught and would never be detonated. The one thing you want to do is look for facts because to assume something before you know the facts uh, is not helpful. Uh, who knows what the motive is? I can tell you that there is cowardice involved. Now, Congressman Gomer went on to say Democrats will benefit from this and that he believes the person who sent the bombs will never be caught. And Rep. Schaefer talked about his time in the Army dealing with bombs. Reporting live in studio, Mike Miller, KTK News.